Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hey. All right. All right. So thank you for joining us today uh, for another 15, I believe is what it is. It will be 15 facts about of? the vagina. The what? The vagina. The vagina. The vagina. The va okay. The vagina. Okay. Uh, what? I've always wanted to know about my vagina. I don't know about you. Well, I figured it'd only be fair since we did uh, we did a a segment a, on a male penis one. genitalia. Okay. So we will definitely go for the females as well. So educational. So females. Informative. Drink of water. Fifteen interesting facts about your vajayjay. Your your female reproductive parts. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it, okay? All right, right into here we it. Go. What's going on? Number one. I haven't heard anything about this yet. So the, the number one fact here is pubic hair is not just a bio is not just a biological accident that forces us to go to the waxing salon. It serves three yeah, it critical is. functions. First, it protects delicate the delicate vagina. Second, it serves as a reproductive billboard to alert potential mates that you are squeaky. That <laughs> you are squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> it, Sorry. It alert. It serves. Someone needs oil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it serves as. A reproductive billboard to alert potential mates that you are biologically, if not emotionally, prepared to procreate. God, and no. last, it's a pheromone carpet that traps the sense. <laughs> 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 that traps the sense and leads potential mates to the promised land. <laughs> so you might think twice before you shave it all off. It's there for a reason. Embrace it. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm not against pubic hair. I'm not a carpet fan. Um, but I could go either way. Which, you know, you, you said that you're going to get your Brazilian on oh, in, a, I'm just in, in a later later time. I, I will get the I will get the painful thing done. <laughs> just for you. the viewers. Just for, for you. your fun and entertainment. And likes and subscriptions, hit it up. Anyway. Like, subscribe, and we'll keep going with this. Yeah. Dear God. It's going to be a long ride. Let's hope so. Yes. So, the second fact is there are... If you keep talking about pubic hairs. Right, people are interested in that. <laughs> there are 8,000 nerve endings. What causes your hair to only grow so far? Oh, we got to talk about that sometime. I think it's like... A... Sure. We'll talk about it later. Okay, all right. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Number not, not, not like the do, but there are... Uh, that was stupid. We'll edit that out. <laughs> no. <laughs> there are 8,000 ending, uh, nerve endings in the clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how he's like... Clitoris, like it was, a, like it's a fucking shoe. I it's, mean, a, it's a delicate. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that word, but uh, it's like, like it's, it's a shoe, it's, like uh, like for uh, it's exotic. A athletes. It's exotic. <laughs> you can only see my athletic foot. Oh, that's it's not that not, not where you think it is. <laughs> we're, we're not baking All right here. Dedicated exclusively to female pleasure, the penis only has four thousand. That's not fair, I don't think. But it's been. Proven that we can feel different kind of stimuli, though. Eh, probably because it's bigger. Well, I don't know. I mean, depending on how you're looking at it, inside or out. This is but about, anyway. This is about the females. I know, I know, I get we it. We can't be. We can't. We be talk biased. about them too. We can't be biased. No, I'm not. I like the vagina. No. But you were just complaining. No, I'm. D okay. Anyway, number three. I know. I know. better know. <laughs> the average vagina is three to four inches long. But fear not, if your guy is hung like a horse, <laughs> the vagina can expand by 200% when sexually aroused. Holy I, hell! Kind of like a balloon. <laughs> you know, like that. Why do I have the feeling that you're going to be trying this? You can't blow into a woman's vagina, it'll kill her. <laughs> anyway, we'll get on that some other time. <laughs> She'll die. 
<laughs> anyway, fill her, fill her up. The vagina helium. can expand 200% when sexually aroused, kind of like a balloon. Remember, the vagina was made to, bir made to birth babies, so it's exceedingly elastic. So is my ball sack. Uh, if you have pain when getting it on with someone large, <laughs> you can use a dilator to help stretch your vagina so it can accommodate the whole package. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I winked for that one. <laughs> Did you? Does it go back? Yeah, so I feel I as though we're not covering that. I, I feel as though I would feel very. Uh, well, if it's like a balloon, a balloon like comes back to regular size too. So yeah, but how long does that take? <laughs> Pretty quick. <laughs> if it does, <laughs> it does do that. Then uh, 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 that would be worth watching. It does. No, the balloon does do that. <laughs> well, we have the balloon. And so does the vagina. <laughs> it's called the queef. Anyway, well, I... <laughs> we'll cover that another fun time. I know that. <laughs> the vagina doesn't connect. To the Your vagina what? speaking to me. The vagina doesn't connect to the lung? <laughs> what? Wait, what? While the vagina can't expand, expand, it is not an open conduct to the abdominal cavity where a microscopic sperm can swim through the tiny hole in the cervix. A tampon simply won't fit. So if you lose something in there, don't worry. <laughs> Reach in all the way and pull it out. <laughs> do not, I repeat, do not go hunting for whatever you lost with a pair of pliers. <laughs> Thank you, Regina, as being a sock. If you lose a banana in a sock, it stays in the sock. <laughs> uh, you know the first rule about the Janet Club, right? <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about it. Yes, exactly. Okay. You don't talk about the Janet Club. <laughs> Yes. You lose a banana, a, a, blana, a <laughs> banana in there. <laughs> Don't worry about losing it forever. Oh my god. But anyway. <laughs> yes, it's true. Your or number five. Yes, it's true. Your vagina can fall out. Oh. Oh. Not to belabor the sock metaphor, but it can turn inside out. Just like a oh, worn out oh. sweat sock. Oh. And hang I don't know, do you, do you roll yours up as you're yeah. taking them off? And hang between your legs as you get older. But don't fret, this condition called pelvic prolapse can be fixed. Oh. You have... Uh, it comes out like an old sweaty man's son. Oh, I get that, but... <laughs> oh the only God. thing I'm thinking right now, and I'm not trying to be... <laughs> <laughs> disgusting is like some hot chick ch chick is just standing there and then all of a sudden it just falls right out <laughs> and you're like what the f <laughs> but anyway oh my god like um your your socks hanging out <laughs> ma'am you might need to get some plastic surgery for that number six vaginas have something in common with sharks <laughs> Both they'll eat anything <laughs> oh both contain squal or squalene, a substance Squ that exists. Squalene exists. Ex a substance that exists in both sharks' liver and natural vaginal or vaginal lubricant. Cue mm. music. She's a man eater. <laughs> yes, she is. Oh, number seven. You can catch sexually transmitted diseases even if you use a condom. Sorry to break it to you. Well, yeah. But the skin of your vulva can still touch infectious skin of the scrotum and BAM! Warts! Herpes! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I just read that there and it literally has it in <laughs> big letters. BAM! Warts! BAM! <laughs> yes. I feel like they ripped off uh, the, the cook. <laughs> Emerald Lagasse. Emerald Lagasse, yes. Yeah. Herpes uh, molluscum contagiosum. Molluscum. Pubic lice. So... Ooh. Pick your partner, or pick your partners. Pick your partners. <laughs> pick your partners carefully. I think that's what happens whenever you just shave and it's just starting to grow and it's like, ow, ow, ow. Oh my. What's going on? God. The average length of the labia menorah is less than three fourths of an inch long. Yes, someone got a ruler and measured two thousand nine hundred eighty-one women. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Only one point eight percent of the women have uh, have labia larger than one and a half inches. But That's remember, crazy. every vulva is different and special. Some lips hang down, some are tucked up in neatly inside, and some are long, some are short, some are even, some aren't. 
all are beautiful. You're perfect just the way you are. I feel as though he's just adding that on there. But, well, are you, uh, what, what, what's your favorite? I have a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm t- just saying. My favorite is hers. No. <laughs> I will not disclose He's her vaginal just vag- being nice. I will, no, I will not disclose her vaginal shape. I'm just saying, I mean, everybody has their preferences of any, any anything and everything, really. Hers is perfect. That's not like you're going to say it and then she's going to be like, I need plastic surgery. You don't know my girlfriend. Well, she might. Anyway, but anyway. Number nine. While hair on your head can give or, or can live up to seven years, pubic hair has a life expectancy of about three weeks, which is why it only grows really? so long. Oh, look! Oh, oh, we didn't have to do anything! Answered. We are very cool. So don't worry about the opt. So our shit falls out, huh? So don't worry if you opt not to grow your pubes. You won't need to braid them anytime soon, unless you're Angelina Jolie. Really? Like she, she... Or no, 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 not Angelina Jolie. Demi Moore. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Oh, I got you. I got you. There you go. Everybody everybody remembers that. And if you don't, if you're a different generation, you probably should look it up. Yeah. But we didn't Too tell you to do you. that. You shouldn't look it up. It's not good for you to look it up. But anyway. Anyway. The word vagina, vagina, vagina. comes from the Latin root meaning sheath for a sword. I kind of knew that. That's pretty cool. Which may explain why some women simply hate the word. So if you don't like the word vagina, pick your own name for your girly parts. Just call it something and don't be afraid to talk about it. I think I would call mine the husky mollusk. (laughs) What? The husky mollusk. The husky snail. (laughs) Is that what you call yours? <laughs> no. No. Are you talking about my 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 vagina? Yeah, your vagina. I don't have a vagina. I I guess if I had one I it's just figuratively speaking. I don't know what it would look like. I would say Well not, it's not what it would look like, what you would call well, it. Well its looks would determine that. I'd probably call it Sir Flops a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Holy man, I'm not talking about <laughs> that thing. <laughs> Oh, you're saying yours is falling out, is what you're saying? Yes. I see, okay. <laughs> the old gym sock. <laughs> we call this the old gym sock. All right. Only 30% of women have Throw orgasms. I'm going when I'm done. Only, anyway. only 30% of women have orgasms from intercourse alone. The clitoris is where the action is. Most women you who know. do orgasm during sex uh, have... Most women who do orgasm during sex have figured out how to hit their sweet spot, either from positioning or from direct stimulation of the clitoris with the fingers. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's pretty uh, straight and to the point. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, number 12. Increased evidence suggests that the G-spot feels good because it lies right over the deep part of the clitoris, although experts describe the G-spot as being inside the vagina on the anterior wall, just under the urethra, the curara of the clitoris actually runs right there. A recent study demonstrated that, vag- uh, that vaginal orgasms may actually be deep clitoral orgasms. But who cares? An orgasm is an orgasm. Appreciate it regardless of where it comes from. That that sounds uh, sounds pretty informative for you youngsters out there. Alright, we get to cover queefs. Number really? Thir- yes, number 13. Vaginal farts. <laughs> Some call them my favorite or varts. <laughs> varts? Varts. Sorry, it happened to almost there. all women at one time or another, especially during sex or other forms of exercise. So don't be embarrassed if your hoo ha lets out that toot. <laughs> You're perfectly normal. I'm like, I'm... <laughs> let's have that toot. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. It's very interesting when it happens. That's what I can say. I am. I don't know. I just, I try not to laugh. You try not to laugh. I try not to laugh. It's just in my, it's my, it's in my anatomy. What's going to, on It's here, in my guys? anatomy to laugh at flappy parts that blow wind out of them. <laughs> well, I, I don't blame you. All right. Number 14. Anyway. 14. 
Some women do ejaculate during orgasm, but you're norm but you're normal if you don't. The controversial female ejaculation most likely represents two different phenomena. If a, a phenomena. Phenomena. If it's a small amount of milky fluid, it likely comes from the peripheral glands inside the urethra. If it's a cup, it's probably pee. <laughs> what? Many times, <laughs> they, it may be a little of both. Peeing on you? Many times, it may be a little of both, but don't stress out about peeing on yourself. Put a towel under you and surrender to the experience. I didn't know that. <laughs> if I am honest, I did not know that. I didn't realize they were just peeing on you. Oh, I figured God. it was like, like, like a majestic, invisible uh, water fountain. You get that, man? If your, uh, if your lady friend is uh, is excessively flowful down there, flowing, she she's is peeing all over you. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll piss all over you. It's... God. I guess it's I, better than shitting all over I you. I feel like the victim of R. Kelly right now. <laughs> do you really? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby, do it. Because I can't get off without it. I unexpectedly got the golden shower. <laughs> And didn't know it. You're like, oh, this is this is crazy amazing. Oh, I, I feel like a man. And now you're like, oh, I feel so wet. Oh, God. I feel like I should take a bath. Did you take a bath after? Or not a bath, but a shower afterwards? Oh, yeah, yes. Anyway, 15. Safe sex, or even just orgasm alone, is yes. good for you. Benefits include lowering your risk of heart disease and stroke, reducing your risk of breast cancer, bolstering your really? immune system. I don't know. Helping, <laughs> help, help, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> helping you sleep, making you appear more youthful, improving your fitness, regulating menstrual cycles, relieving menstrual cramps, helping with chronic pain, reducing the risk of depression, lowering stress levels, and improving self-esteem. Well, I know whenever I masturbate and I'm done, I feel and look youthful, stress-free, and ready to attack. I mean, how could you not? And ready you, to attack the day. You get all this lotion that you apply generously to yourself, and you look like your skin uh, glows. Lotion just does not doesn't do it for me. Oh no, I meant what you produce. We produce lotion. Oh, oh yeah, well you, we do, yeah. And we just take it, and it's like little semen or something, like working on your face. No, I'm not doing that. I haven't done that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you have. Okay, uh, all right. Well, where do you think this fabulous glow comes from? Oh, well, you know, um, uh, yeah. is there anything so, else? Well, no, that's 15, but so I guess women should totally, or women and men should totally go at it for a healthier life. Just be safe. Because one, you'll be happy. Two, um, just don't go too vigorously for the men because we already covered that. And apparently penises painful. explode and women's socks turn inside <laughs> out. So. Yeah. so just be careful with that. Apparently, don't don't be uh, don't don't be uh, uh, putting a uh, air hose in your vagina, please. Oh God. We don't we don't want to see anything happen to anybody, because if you're actually thinking of trying that to see if you can make it happen, you know, make sounds, funny sounds. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you like. Uh, eventually, we are going to be getting some stuff up for you to go and visit. Uh, but either way, thank you for viewing. Well, yes. You want and, to uh, end this here? I suppose I'll end this with a good morning. A good afternoon. And possibly a good night. Okay, then. See you later. Cut. Cut. Don't look at me anymore. I'm not here.